there are differences of opinion between Nigel and myself, but give him credit. For 20 years, he's ploughed a lonely furrow. Uh, he and others in UKIP have pushed consistently for a referendum. We've now had the referendum. And I think some credit and kudos where it's due. Uh, he's done an amazing job. OK, so what is the uh, point of the party now Then they've got UKIP has what it wanted? There's a cartel in Westminster. We see uh, established parties led by people who have more in common with each other than with the people they're meant to represent. Seven out of ten Labour MPs represent constituencies where the overwhelming majority want to leave the EU. It's indicative of the fact that politics is in the hands of a small class of professional politicians. UKIP is needed because it can come along as an alternative to break that cartel and to make sure that we actually are represented by people in Parliament who answer to the voters rather than to small cliques okay. at the top okay. of each party. So I want to sort of be clear, what will UKIP stand for then? Dispersing power outward and downward, not just taking it from Brussels and leaving it festering in Westminster, but dispersing power outward and downward within the United Kingdom. There are all sorts of cartels in this country, in the energy market, in banking, in the family courts, in housing associations. UKIP needs to be the voice that stands up for ordinary people against those powerful vested interests. OK, you said there's zero to no chance of you being leader. Is that still the case? Absolutely. I'm not about to do a, a Michael Gove and change my mind. I'm not going to be the uh, leader of UKIP. I've got more than enough uh, to be doing representing my constituents and giving UKIP a voice in the House of Commons. I, I really do think it's important, however, that UKIP has a fair and open contest so that all of those people who could come along and contribute to uh, UKIP and uh, uh, have something to offer as, an, uh, as the leader of UKIP get a fair chance to have their say um, and uh, stand for election. Nigel Farage has been known to stand down and then come back as leader of the party. Do you fear he could do that again? Um, I think this time it's probably genuine, but you never know with Nigel. Um, sure, he resigned and unresigned. Uh, he conceded and unconceded on the night of the referendum. But, you know, um, I, I think this time it's, it's, it's probably genuine. I think it's really important now we, we do have a, a proper discussion as a party. What went wrong in terms of converting the support we had into seats? What can we learn from some of the tactical mistakes and, and tonal mistakes we've made in the past?